Hi, awesome artists. Today we are going to be working on a project that does not have to be submitted to Schoology. This project is just for your knowledge and for your practice, okay? So I do want you to do it, even though you do not have to submit it to Schoology, um, just because it's good practice for you as artists. Also, if you go over to the Florida Virtual School, the link is in the pink folder that says fifth art session info, which you're in right now if you found this video, and you're gonna do slides 12 through 19. There is a project on slide 19 that you do not have to do, okay? If you wanna do it, that's fine, but you do not have to do it. It's just there for fun. So the project that is listed on slide 19 in Florida Virtual School is optional and it does not need to be submitted. This project doesn't need to be submitted either, but I do want you to do it. All right, so let's get started. So we have been talking about line and shape a lot lately. So I thought we would take some time to review some of the important things about line and shape. So we're gonna start off here, get a piece of paper, just draw a line going down. We're gonna have several columns. But in this first column, I want you to make the shapes that you think of when you think of shapes. Just the basic shapes that you can name. Are you doing it? Or are you waiting for me to do it? Don't cheat. I want you to think of some. Okay. <laughs> So we think of circles, right? We think of ovals. We think of squares and rectangles. Triangles and diamonds. Hearts. Stars, crescents, and you can get into the shapes like pentagons and octagons, hexagons, heptagons, all those gons <laughs> that have multiple sides. You can keep on going and going and going. So this is a pentagon. Pentagon means five sides. So you got one, two, three, four, five. This is an octagon, like a stop sign. So those are our basic geometric shapes. Geometric, okay? Those are the shapes that have names. We just name them, like we just did. Circle, square, rectangle. Now, the next group are organic shapes, all right? Organic shapes. These are the shapes that you can't really name, and usually when you go to describe them, you say, it looks like a, and then that's what that shape is. It looks like a, so you could say, it looks like a mud puddle. It looks like a raindrop. It looks like a worm, or maybe a Cheeto, I'm not exactly sure. Or it looks like a leaf shape. So organic shapes are those shapes that we find in nature that don't have a specific name like the geometric shapes. So these are geometric, these are organic. Think more natural type shapes, okay? Kind of like when you draw maybe a blade of grass. It's almost like a triangle, but it's got a little bit of roundedness to it. So it looks like is what you usually end up saying because it's not a triangle for sure. It's not a rectangle. It's not an oval. It's kind of a mix of all that together. So geometric, organic. Now, the next section we're gonna do is going to be lines, lines. So if we're gonna make a row of lines that go straight up and down. 
those are called vertical. If I give you a piece of paper and I say I want it to go vertical, then you turn it the tall ways. Tall ways is vertical. Next, we do horizontal lines. They kind of look like dashed lines. If I ask you to have your paper horizontal, it looks like this, side to side. Next, we're gonna do a row of diagonals. Diagonals are kind of in between horizontal and vertical. It's not straight up and down, it's not straight side to side. It's at an angle, it's diagonal, like a sliding board, okay? Or half of a letter X, that's a diagonal. And then we're gonna do, oh, this one's just so hard. <laughs> dot, 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 dots are in the line family. So we're gonna make a row of dots. After that, spiral. Now a spiral is like a cinnamon roll, or a snail shell, or if you've ever seen the movie Moana, it's the heart of Tahiti. The, sh the stone has a spiral on it. You can really see it at the very end when Moana places it back in the heart of Tahiti when she's like that volcano monster, and then she turns back into beautiful green island goddess all right next we'll do up curves up curves they kind of look like U's, but they're not quite a u it's more like a smiley face or the way you guys make smiley faces sometimes and then we've got down curves and it's like a rainbow or a sad face now the last column we're going to do is going to be a combination. So we're going to first take our vertical and horizontal lines and combine them together. This line is often used on castles. You maybe have either seen it or you've made it yourself. When we put diagonals together, we get a zigzag. Kind of looks like a letter W that never stops or a letter M. Not gonna do one with dots. Now spiral, you can kind of make a vine shape with this, but you've gotta extend the line a little bit. See how I kind of unwound the spiral just a little bit? And that will create a vine. Next, we're gonna put upturns together, up curves. So when we put up curves together, it looks like a wave. This is called a scallop, a scalloped edge. But it looks like a wave. We use that for a wave and we can use it for like the bottom part of a cloud would be really good. Then we have down curves and put those together. That is also called a scallop. This would be the top of a cloud or maybe hills. Then we can put down curve, up curve, down curve, up curve. This is a wave line. It's good for waves or hills. That would work very well. All right, so we've made geometric shapes, organic shapes, lines, and line combinations. All right, you are gonna pick two from the geometric, two, from the organic, two for the line, and two from the line combinations. And you're gonna put this together into a new work of art. All right, so you can either flip your paper over and do it on the other side, or you can start on a clean piece of paper. Now, we wanna fill up our paper. This is gonna be kind of like an abstract work of art. All right, so I'm gonna start with a circle. I like circles. I also like squares. So I'm gonna do a circle and a square. Do you have to do a circle and a square? Nope. 
You do not. You pick the shapes you like best and that you think will look good. I'm gonna put the mud puddle shape from my organic right here. I'm going to add the raindrop shape right here from my organic section. Then I'm going to put, hmm, I think I'll put a spiral right here. And then here, I'm going to make diagonal lines. So that is the two from the line section. Now I'm gonna do my line combinations. I think I'm gonna do a zigzag. Across my paper. And then maybe I'll do a wavy line. Whoa, I filled up that paper. I think it looks pretty cool. After you've got done, or got done, after you've finished with that, and you've picked two from each section, you're gonna color it. Now, like I said, this doesn't need to be turned in on Schoology, but I would like you to bring it to class next class time and show me what you created. I bet they're all gonna be super different and super interesting. Here is my picture I've started coloring. I'm not done yet, but if you notice where the lines went through some of my shapes, I changed the colors. That cool? It looks pretty neat, I think. So I'm gonna finish coloring my paper, but you need to get started on your project, all right? All right, have a good week, guys. I can't wait to see your artwork next class time. Bye-bye.